Coach, with uh, Kerr being out, what, what did you see out of Terrell's performance tonight taking his place? Terrell Brown had an outstanding game. Uh, I didn't even realize he had eight assists and only one turnover. And, you know, most importantly, he played 35 minutes. Uh, his four block shots and one steal, uh, he really embraced the defensive side of the ball. Uh, I think he guarded Noah Williams more than any other guard that we had. And I thought he did a really good job of just against an excellent player making the game hard. And uh, Terrell is unselfish. He's smart. He's experienced. And all those characteristics uh, – really permeate throughout our team with as many new players and young guys as we have, you know, he's a steadying force and uh, he did a great job tonight. And I also thought Ben Matherine really responded, you know, coming off of LA, it might've taken him a little bit of time to get his confidence going. But once he did, you know, playing 36 minutes, having 14 points, uh, the two, three point shots he made late in the game were big shots to kind of put, put uh, Washington State away. And I, I also thought he played good defense and, and Ben's defense got better as the game wore on. Uh, say the same thing about Dalen Terry. Dalen coming off the USC game, we wanted him to go and be be a good player again, you know, bounce off of that game and, and do it again. And tonight when we went small, uh, that helped us on defense. Uh, it was great to see him get out in transition and he had a big dunk, but Really, those three guys in Kerr's place uh, helped us get the win. And I didn't know this until tonight, but uh, Dalen and Terrell are roommates. Um, and uh, and Dalen was talking about, you know, how much he's personally affected him and hel helped him out throughout the season. Can you see that with, with Terrell and the relationship with some of the younger guys? Yeah, the, Terrell is just a steadying force. I mean, he's the same every day. Uh, he's been through a lot. You know, he's experienced. He, he knows the deal in terms of how hard it is to win and the grind of practices, the ups and downs of winning and losing. And uh, he's just really been a godsend for us. I mean, he's not only played very good basketball for our team, but in addition to that, he's given us the leadership qualities, the good teammate, uh, who he is off the court, like Dalen mentioned. You know, all of those things really add up to uh, – to helping you win as a group and tonight's a great example you know it's uh, i didn't really have to sit down and talk to terrell a lot about taking him out of the lineup he understood he embraced his role we talked about him playing about the same amount and uh and that's really what he's done so i'm anxious for him to uh, to finish up here um in mikhail and do a good job uh like all of our guys here on saturday thank you Bruce Pasco, you're next, Bruce. Uh, Sean, you mentioned there a little bit Terrell on Noah Williams. I mean, uh, and I know Bonton was coming off an injury, but it seems like you guys did not only really good on those two guys, but just one of your best percentage defensive efforts of the year. How, how would you kind of rate it? And, you know, what do you think made the difference? Well, we played with great effort. Our defense improved as the game wore on. We went small. Uh, playing Dalen with three guards. I thought that helped. Um, you know, the disappointing part about tonight's game, and we knew this coming in, you know, Washington State is a very, very good offensive rebounding team. And they put 16 on us. And yeah. obviously they missed a lot of shots, but 16 second shots, and they got fouled and scored on a number of them. Um, you know, their young big guys are very good players. I mean, their future is bright. Uh, we respect them a great deal. Uh, I was really worried about this game. Uh, Washington State is that team that if you're not ready to play, they're going to beat you because they, they seem to always be ready. And, and that's a great compliment. Um, so we, we hung in there. There are times when our offense, I know, didn't maybe look as smooth, but a big reason is Washington State is also an excellent defensive team. So uh, you have to play through those periods of time and uh, I was happy with uh, I was happy with our defensive effort. If we would have done a better job keeping them off the offensive glass, clearly it would have been our best defense of the year. And what what's what is Kerr's status? He, he hurt his groin. Was that what what when, yeah. when when did that happen? And could he play Saturday? Yeah, it, it happened late in practice. And I think that with that type of injury, if he would have pushed through here tonight, he basically would have just 
steadily deteriorated and wouldn't have had an opportunity to increase. So he's been able to take a couple of days off. Uh, we'll be smart tomorrow with him as well. And we're optimistic and hopeful that he'll rejoin us on Saturday. Uh, we need him. I mean, it's just, it's, it's too much to ask to only play three guards or four guards. I mean, you, you need Kerr available. And uh, as you guys know, Kerr has uh, become a really big part of what we're doing. So we got to get him back in there. Thanks. Steve Rivera. Steve? Yeah, Sean, I think for the second straight game, you guys have played a lot of team ball. Everybody's playing well together. Uh, would you agree? And, and what is going on with that? It's, you know, Akinju had a nice second half. It was just a lot of team things. Everyone playing well. Well, I think we have a collection of good players. It's not just one or two guys who do the scoring for us. We're balanced. And we have a lot of younger guys that can make plays. And if you think about tonight's game, you know, Azulis had a very deceptive nine and nine. He almost had a double double. I didn't think this was one of his best games, but uh, you know, nine and nine is a pretty good night. You know, Dalen Terry, we talked about all the different things Dalen did and Ben had 14 points. You know, it's Terrell eight assists, one turnover. And, you know, James, he's the, he's the given, you know, he had 19 points, maybe a few more turnovers, but again, Washington state is a difficult team to, uh, to score on. And I think some of those turnovers, you have to give credit, tip your hat to the defense. Now you talked about your defense. Do you think in the second half, you kind of just eventually just wore them down? I do. I do. Uh, we closed out on their three point shooters. And, uh, you know, I know I've mentioned it, but what's the one thing they did a great job of? They killed us on the glass. I mean, they, they got 16 second shots and they converted a number of them. We fouled them on some others. We got to do a better job in that area. And if I could just last me, uh, uh, I think it was uh, one of the kids said that they're having fun. You could tell that after your, your 300th win, the dowsing in the locker room. Tonight they had fun. It was very apparent. Just can you sense that and your, your thoughts on that? You know, that's great for to hear them say that. You know, we, we've been through a lot. Uh, you know, if you think about it, we, we truly are that team that is playing for each other. You know, you hear coaches sometimes give – that analogy, but that's that's what we're playing for, nothing else. And uh, we want to finish our season strong, uh, whether it's the COVID protocols, the consistent practices, being able to handle a couple really tough losses, Oregon at home or at Colorado. Uh, our guys have bounced back, and, you know, we want to play our best down the stretch here. We've got two games left, and uh, it's been some time since we had a home sweep. You know, I can't believe I just said that, but that's something we have to repair. And that's why Saturday's game is so big. It gives us that chance to do it. Thanks. Patrick, Arizona Daily Wildcat. Patrick. From the tip, it just felt like a super gritty, grinded out game. So uh, what do you think of your reacting and adapting to that flow style of the game and succeeding with it? Well, we talked to our team about that after the game. And during the long course of a season, you have to win games in different ways. You know, sometimes your offense is not clicking. And sometimes you just have a miserable night from the free throw line. Um, unfortunately, and this has happened to us, sometimes you have to overcome your defense or fouling or, you know, just guys not getting it done on that end. But tonight's game was, it was, it was a battle. It was a physical battle. Uh, credit Washington state for how hard they play. And we had to play through some tough moments and we did. Um, I thought we did a good job on Noah Williams. I know you mentioned that. And I give Terrell Brown a lot of credit as an individual defender in that area. But uh, Washington state is a, is a tough minded group and uh, their future's bright. They're really going to be a good team here next year. Really, really good. And we'll end with Justin Spears, Justin. Which I'm wondering with the, the current situation and no postseason ahead, do, does a senior day, does that change how you approach the starting lineup? Could you possibly put in a guy like Ira Lee because it could be his last game? Yeah, we're going to start Ira on, on senior night, on senior day. You know, the ceremony we're going to have is going to be uh, identical to the one we had a year ago before the game. But unfortunately, the parents and the families won't be able to join our players on the court because of COVID. But they are invited to the game, and each of our seniors has four tickets. So they'll be uh, – at least I hope they'll be here. 
and uh, and we're gonna uh, kind of send those guys off. I hope with a with a good performance. You know, ironically, Washington State was our last game a year ago, and uh, we have to do a better job this year than we did a year ago. And uh, have you ever done this before? Start a senior on senior day just because it's their last home game. I think so. Um, you know, I'm, I've coached a lot more teams now than I, I once did, so I don't know if I can necessarily tell you when I've done it. But what we always try to do is get them in the game. But in this case, I think uh, Ira deserves to start, and uh, he'll start for us. I'm not sure who the lineup will be, but uh, he'll be in it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody.